you've been looking at this week. We've had this sell-off. Uh, things have come slightly back. We have this, you know, news of a, now a, a vaccine uh, from J and J potentially in the works. How are you? How are you sort of thinking about uh, wh where we are and where we may be headed? Well, Andrew, um, thanks for having me again. I, I think that basically, um, certainly, um, the market has done quite well in technology during the pandemic with the stay-at-home stocks and. Um, we've had five months of gains, essentially. Well, September has caused a little bit of a reversal, and that reversal, to some extent, has been caused by a little bit of focus on CARES II really not being passed, not getting more fiscal stimulation. You even have the Federal Reserve discussing um, the importance of having some fiscal stimulation, but we don't believe that there's going to be uh, much support before um, the election um, due to the fact that um, the Congress' attention is focused um, elsewhere, um, especially with the um, unfortunate, you know, passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Condolences to her family. Um, so um, we're looking here and we're watching um, the market to see where investors began to look towards the sideline. But we're also watching um, what's going on in the vaccine fight. For most of the pandemic, investors have been very optimistic about. Um, the market and thinking that we're going to have a straight line V-shaped type recovery. And that's the way we've invested, or not, that's the way most of the market has invested. We don't think that's going to continue. We think that although earnings have um, been okay during the third quarter, we are starting to see a break in August retail sales, which is not expected. And we also are seeing Europe began to go into a little bit more of a lockdown phase. So right. we think that we're going to see then, a second coming of the virus. Mm -hmm. Square that up, though, with the Nike news, because I think the Nike sure. news surprised everybody and speaks potentially to a stronger consumer. Well, I see that a little bit differently, um, Andrew. I think that um, Nike kind of um, goes the same way as Levi, to some extent. It's a global brand um, that participates in athleisure, um, where um, it's not a very expensive product across the board. Um, a lot more um, folks are wearing um, sneakers as opposed to dress shoes or formal wear. Um, so that wasn't a huge um, surprise to me. Although I think that Nike, similar to Walmart, is a type of stock that you can get performance both ways, whether or not um, we're in a lockdown environment or whether or not um, the this, this environment continues to expand. Look at Foot Locker's earnings, and you'll see that Nike's return probably was not a huge surprise. How do you think about the, the big tech companies and the multiples on them right now? Uh, they're very expensive, right? And certainly, let's look at Zoom as a case in point. We we'll love to own it. Um, everyone's using it for um, their market share. But however, I try to invest a little bit differently. Um, I can invest or I won't invest in a 600 P type stock. But then I contrast that with a stock like Citrix Systems that's trading at about a 23 P in almost the same type of environment, has been around since the 80s. Um, is basically trading during the last six months as if the stock is not participating in the stay-at-home trade, which it is. Um, it's still right. doing very well. So you have a company that's growing revenue, mm -hmm. 7 to 8, 10%. That's sold right. off, even though it beat its top and bottom line right. earnings growth down 20%. So you're able to buy a stock I with a little bit more valuation sensitivity that participates both right. ways.